Hi, welcome to our show. This is Susan Lisad, and I'm Trina Churchill. And uh, Susan and I met about well, a few years ago, but last summer we had the idea of creating a show together. So here we are. At Castelli Art Space <laughs> in Culver City, California. And after seven months of painting and painting and painting, we are and here laughs. <laughs> presenting our work, our brand new work. Trina's got Woodstock Landscapes, and my work is New Work Untitled Paintings. And they're all paintings of personal and somewhat emotional work. Emotional <laughs> resonance. Yes. <laughs> I started to paint this series seven months ago after my adopted father died and I was going through a lot of grief and I was really sad and I found myself wallowing in the sadness and I thought why am I, why am I wallowing in the sadness because it's LA and there's all these beautiful things around me so I thought why not paint something beautiful out of all that pain. So I came up with the idea to paint life through seasons and nature using leaves, nature, flowers, and snakes as a metaphor for love and loss. This painting is painted to look like four different panels, but it's all one. Spring, summer, autumn, and fall, and the snake, which is a symbol of immortality, regeneration, rebirth, is winding through, and by the time it gets to winter, the leaves are just white to represent end of life. For the show, I am um, looking at Woodstock in particular, um, 1969, because that's the year I was born. And I'm looking in the way from the perspective of being born in Denmark in the early 70s, or in 69, but the era of the 70s, where culture had shifted here and there. So this particular painting is a um, combination of imagery from the Woodstock documentary, where there's a scene where you see people bathing in the lake. So I took a still of that and inserted family members from my fa from my family's photo album. So like this is my mom, my dad, and their two best friends. Um, the other characters are just random and just yeah, they're not really people I know. But um, the woman at first, their friend in front, uh, was left in blue, and I realized it was kind of fitting because she has passed away while my mom and dad and this other friend is still, still here. Uh, these five paintings are part of this new Untitled series about love and loss. This painting here, close up of flowers and love and loss and how the flowers is a metaphor for life. Um, just running down the paint, running down the canvas. This one is really like how I felt when I was processing all that grief and trying to emerge from it and figure out a way to go forward and, you know, be positive. And I was feeling like nature was the way to, you know, go forward and that there's always going to be new life. This painting is based on a uh, black and white photograph from my childhood. And um, it's a moment of um, sort of defeat, but also finding personal empowerment. Because this kid, which turns out to be my sister, and I will tell you that was myself, but she has, has had it. Um, and so I put in these other flowers to represent the 70s and the flower power and sort of give her a way out of the situation that she's in. She has a choice. There's a contrast between the very suburban landscape very little growth, a very new growth, with this immensely powerful flower, full flower, full of color kind of um, world. This painting is also one I started right after my father died. A robe, but really painted to be kind of ambiguous. Somebody told me they see a tree. I personally see sort of water, uh, almost like the person in the robes who you don't see is sinking into the water and trying to emerge. A snake coming down, flowers, red flowers emerging, and just bricks at the bottom, really thick paint, trying to brick her in. So she's trying to navigate all that. These are a 
a part of a journal that I do. I do these weekly journals that are um, based either on memories or experiences of that day. And with these particular entries, I base them on photographs. And I wanted them to be part of the exhibition here at Caselli Art Space. So these are again from the 70s, um, about my childhood. And there's the schoolgirl, black and white, but the only color is on her jacket that becomes floral and becomes lively. This one is called The Father, the Daughter, and the New Times. And you see this man sort of like in front of a church door. A lot of darkness is coming out from that church, leaving a little bit of mystery where he's going from there. This one is called The Fence to the Festival. And you see again this young girl is sort of breaking down the fence on the way into a new time, into the music, into the festival. This painting actually germinated about eight years ago uh, after I took to Italy and I saw Botticelli's Primavera. I was just sort of transfixed by the beauty of the robes. And again, then when my father died last fall, I had started the painting a long time ago and pulled it out from storage and I thought it was just a perfect metaphor for beauty and timelessness and the robes being translucent and the leaves just, there's warm colors above and cooler colors below and then she's reaching but into, you know, she's blocked by life. So it's sort of past, present and future. These are more journal entries. You'll notice it has those spiral from the journal itself. This is actually my neighbor's house right there. So I grew up in a suburban area, a city outside of Copenhagen with lots of fields. And uh, here I'm bringing in the 70s, the Woodstock era with this whole floral world that has its life of its own in the midst of this kind of gray world.